What's up guys, welcome to Ben Icel Guy and what I have for you guys in this video today is an app review called Vlingo. Vlingo is basically a voice application where you can tell it, so you can use your voice to send out emails, SMS, Twitter updates, Facebook updates, If instead of having to use the keyboard to type them because you guys know it is a little bit difficult to type on an iPhone keyboard sometimes, maybe not for you guys but for me it definitely is. They said that this is like Siri, but the only thing that you don't get on here is Siri dictation, meaning you can just fool around with the voice app. No, this is basically an essential app. So you can consider this voice command, except you have toggle settings on here to make your life easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the application here. I was kind of disappointed that I don't get something like Siri dictation on here, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, so here's your user interface. So you have your press and speak button, which you can basically speak into it, and then you scroll to different pages. Yeah, you, know, you can basically get like different commands that you can say on here. Text hand make it so. As you can see, let's click on this wrench button right here, which is basically your settings, you know, language, profanity, filtering, tones, auto listen, endpoint detection, resume audio, Bluetooth input. And you can actually use a Bluetooth headset to say your command, as well as your search, phone, social, SMS, and email, as well as contact indexing. So let's close that. Let's click on this little I button right here. So if you click on this what can I say button right here, you basically get a list of commands that you can say on here. So for example, SMS, you can say text Katie message, are you free tonight for dinner, or email maps, Social update, web search, voice dial, doesn't matter. Uh, Vlingo secrets. Okay. And of course you have your about, online support. And you can rate this app in the app store as well as reset the Vlingo intro. And on this tab right here, you have your different apps. Now these are the apps that you can use to say your command as well as email, SMS, map search, Social and voice style like we saw so earlier. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So I'm going to click the press and speak button right here. Search Apple. So as you can see, it's searching Apple right now. Either Apple Inc. or just some random apples on the web. And it does use Google search. And as you can see, it does have a somewhat web browser on here. So as you can see, official Apple Store, uh, you can refresh the page, and if you click this right here, you have the option to open this page in Safari. And of course, if you scroll all the way to the top, you have your search bar right here. And as you can see, uh, you have your keyboard right here, as well as your voice button, so you can say a different command, so let's try it again. China. And you don't have to press it to stop the command, I just decided to do that so it would go a lot quicker. As you can see, we got results on China right here. Now, what if I wanted to use this with my social media? For example, I have Twitter. So I'm going to click on the social app right here. I'm going to change from Facebook to Twitter. Now, you guys see these dots right here? Those dots mean that those are the networks that you want to say your update on. So for example, if I have both of these highlighted right here or with the circle, I'm sending out the same message to both my social medias. If I have one unchecked and I just only have Twitter with the circle, then I can only send out an update on Twitter. So we'll do that right now. All right guys, so you are seeing both my test desktop and my iPhone because what I'm going to be doing is once I send out the tweet, we're going to go onto my Twitter account to check that the tweet is there. So I'm going to click this voice button right here. I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone, except I am recording this live. Okay, so as you can see right here, it says, I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone, except I'm recording this live. Now, you notice that there isn't any punctuation right there, 
meaning there aren't periods, commas, colons, semicolons, or anything, because it's not like Siri, where it'll just understand what you want like that. You actually have to take your time, and if you talk too fast, sometimes it will just mess up and won't recognize what you said. So I'm actually going to erase this right here, because I want to send out a professional tweet. And let's click the voice button again. I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone, period. Hopefully this is accurate, period. What do you guys think? Question mark. Okay, so as you can see, now it says, I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone. Hopefully this is accurate. It, and it says, what do you guys think? Or what do you guys think? So, I'm going to try it again. And I'll just keep it short this time. So this video the, doesn't get too long. Okay. I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone, except I am doing this live while I'm recording, period. Okay, so as you can see right there, I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone, except I am doing this live while I'm recording. Okay, I do like that tweet. Now I'm going to click the send button right here. So it's sending to my Twitter account. Your Twitter status has been updated. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go on my desktop right here. So as you can see, it's not there, so I'm going to refresh the page. So it's refreshing. Please excuse the loading time because I am uploading a video right now which you probably already seen as this video has been updated or uploaded. I'm sorry. There it is. I'm testing out the Vlingo app on my iPhone except I'm doing this live while I'm recording. So there you go. All right, so as you can see, this app does work. It is a free download from the App Store. Again, I wish there would have been some sort of Siri dictation on here. And I wish that it would just recognize what I want. So it'll automatically put the period right there, colon, comma, semicolon, question mark, exclamation mark. That is one thing that I don't like about this application overall. I do like the application itself. And hopefully I will use this more often on a daily basis. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button down below as well as subscribe for more videos like this. And for more updates, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben Guy. And I will see you guys in the next video.